Welcome to the group action 7. In this lecture we will show that if G is a finite group and P is the smallest prime dividing the order of the group G and if G has a subgroup of order subgroup of index P then that subgroup will be normal. For example if we have a group of order 15 then 15 can be written as 3 into 5 then 3 is the smallest prime dividing the order of the group G. So if G has a subgroup of order 3 G has a subgroup of index 3 then that subgroup will always be normal subgroup. So we will prove this. So for proving it we will use our lectures group action 1, group action 2, group action 3 and a lecture on left coset, right cosets and Lagrange's theorem. So it is uh, good if you see these lectures before going through it. So let us start. So G is a group and uh, we have assumed that H is a subgroup of index P. Index P means order of G upon order of H is equal to P. Uh, let us fix a notation. G H L that is the set of all left cosets of H and G. And in fact, the number of left cosets of H in G is same as the index of H in G. So, this order of this set is P. So, let us note this set by capital X. Let us note this set by capital X and uh, consider an action star from G cross X to X as G star AH is equal to GH where G is in G and AH belongs to X. We have shown in group action 1 that this is an action. And in group action 3, we have shown that if we have any action of G on a set X, then we can define a homomorphism phi from G to sim X. And in group action 2, we have shown that for this particular action, the kernel of the homomorphism is equal to the core of H in G and core of H in G is the largest normal subgroup of G contained in H. Uh, for detail please see the group action 2. Now by the fundamental theorem of group homomorphism G by kernel phi is isomorphic to the symbols means is isomorphic to phi g so order of g upon order of kernel phi is equal to order of phi g kernel phi is equal to core of h and g so we can write it as order of g upon order of core of h and g is equal to order of phi g so this simply means that order of phi g will divide order of g this straight line means divides. So order of phi g divides order of g. Now phi g is a subgroup of sim x. By Lagrange's theorem order of phi g will also divide the order of sim x. But the order of set x is p. So order of sim x is p factorial. So phi g will divide p factorial. So this phi g order of phi g will divide p factorial. So phi g is going dividing order of uh, g and phi g is also dividing p factorial. So it means phi g order of phi g will divide the gcd of order of g and p factorial. But p is the smallest prime dividing the order of g. And here the largest and here p is the largest number coming in this factorial. So it means they have only one thing that can be common is p. So their gcd is p actually. So order of phi g will divide p. So it means order of phi g is either 1 or it is p. So if phi g is 1 then order of g is equal to the kernel of phi because phi g is 
order of phi g is equal to order of g upon order of kernel of phi. So if order of g is equal to kernel of phi, order of kernel of phi means g is equal to kernel of phi and this is equal to core of h in g. But core of h in g is the largest normal subgroup of g contained in h. So core of g can be maximum, maximum be a subgroup of h. But h is a proper subgroup of g because its index is p. So it is not possible because g is equal to core of h in g and the core of h in g is a proper subgroup of g. How is it possible? So this is a contradiction. So it means order of phi g cannot be 1. So this is not the case. So hence order of phi g is p. So it means order of g by core of h in g that is the kernel of phi is p and this is equal to order of g upon order of h. So it means order of h is equal to order of core of h in g but core of h in g is a subgroup of h so it means h is equal to core of h in g and but core of h in g we know it is a normal subgroup so h is a normal subgroup of g. Thank you.